Guys, what's going on? I know I'm starting a little bit early here, but uh, I wanted to get going as soon as I could. Does everything look all right? Give it a little bit here to you let people trickle in. Hello. I don't know how to say your name, but hello. <laughs> All right, I was debating whether to actually do this in Iron Man or not, but. I don't know. I, I figure we probably don't need to, especially since this is still somewhat experimental. Hello, Jenko Horasco. Hello, Jesse S. Gaming. Already we have more people than I had the entire time that I uh, did my last stream. <laughs> so in the last one I did... Um, I, I did a CK2 thing, and uh, yeah, you guys don't seem to like CK2. <laughs> I love CK2, though. It's one of my favorite games that Paradox has made. It, it, it's even like a contender for uh, for best game over Hoi 4, in my opinion. But I, no, I, I, I probably still like Hoi 4 more, but and definitely you guys do. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Ansel? Hoping to see this run. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll work out well. Uh, thanks for the good luck wish, Atomic Glitch. All right, yeah, let's get going here. Let's do this. I I worked up a strategy like a few nights ago, and pretty much like every night I've been uh, trying something new out. So. All right, so we're going to put our first mill on transport planes. That's the first thing we're going to do. So delete this line. Transport plane, that's it. We have one mill. <laughs> we, we actually start with four civilian factories, which is more than I'm used to starting with. We're going to do secure internal politics first. And let's do... Uh, I'm going to build the railways from our supply hub. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can't do that yet. As to join the faction, we got to join the Soviet faction. What mod were you doing in MP? I don't actually remember what I did research wise. I don't think it matters too much though. But we don't even start with artillery or support equipment. That's pretty bad. We also don't have the, the better gun starting out. That doesn't matter too much though. We're just going to beg for guns for the most part. Paradox always comes up with the dumbest achievements, yet when you do something like this, all you are rewarded with is permanent brain damage. Nah, this is going to be easy. It's going to be cake. <laughs> All right, I'm going to delete two of these uh, starting units. The other one we're just going to put on permanent training. And I'm still debating on what to do with this other one. We need trains. We need... Uh, we might even need some fighters, honestly. Because I think we need to get... We need to be able to get air supremacy here. Every time I've done this in in my test runs, like the the Japanese actually had some planes up to defend their mainland or to defend this sea zone at least, and that's not good for us. Uh, I want to be able to pair drop and take the land and then be able to push down. I it's probably not worth actually spending the research on planes though. So yeah, we'll just get production. Let's just do that. All right, we we can get going here. Uh, 
All right, I have like four hours to do this, so. First industry, you can research planes later. Yeah, I mean, I I don't want to actually build planes. It's just we might need some. I, I don't know. I I know I had trouble doing the pair drops, but then I, I also had one game where it was perfectly fine, so we'll see. All right, so we're going to get railways all the way up to this supply hub. And once we get that, we'll be able to supply our troops eventually. So, so we did join the Soviets right away. Sejo did this a couple months ago, I think. Yeah, he did something like it, I think. Yeah, I, I watched something about that. But uh, I didn't like how he did it. <laughs> no, his way was cool. Um, I, and I always like watching other people do something first because then it makes it, you can kind of work a little bit on, on top of that, that, what, what they've already done. So, <laughs> the new red flood sub mod, oh, I don't even know about that. Uh, the one division training exploit is still somewhat viable. Like, we'll still get a decent amount of uh, XP from it. But it's just not as good as it used to be. Like, it's still good. And it's still fine, but, yeah. Alright, we have some PP. Um, let's do army offense guy, and that's it. We could invite Shang Kai-shek, but I don't think it's actually useful to do that. Oh, you know what? I probably should have done improved worker conditions first. Oh, well. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to do cooper cooperation with the communists. So we're going to go down the middle route. And eventually that will actually turn us into communist China, which is kind of cool. Oh, yeah, the... Uh, Libya to Al Andalus and Arabia. Is that what you're talking about? All right, next up, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we don't really need any of this stuff. I would like to get some artillery, though, so we can put support um, artillery into our paratroopers once we get to that point. I might actually take ideological loyalty, too, even though we'll eventually have like more manpower than we could ever possibly need. Um, this is still going to come in handy early on because we don't have that much manpower right now. Five transports so so far. All right, we're coming. We're chugging along. Okay, we do have a hundred PP now. I, you know, I can't remember if I needed to save PP for anything. Let me see here. Just find USA. Oh yeah, I was gonna spike the tensions. Shoot, I already might have messed up. <laughs> I meant to do a justification on Netherlands right away. It's 240 days. Uh, yeah, I guess let's just do it now. I really should have done that right away, though. Actually, it's probably worth a restart here. Let's do this. 
I hate when I'm having a great Germany game and Japan declares war because it puppeted Southeast Asia. Yeah, definitely. All right, try number two. <laughs> what will Shenkai Shek do if you invite him? Uh, it, what did it do? It started the, um, like basically I imprisoned him and it started the Chinese United Front early, which doesn't really help our situation per se. So I don't think we actually need to do that. All right, there we go. We'll try this again. Yeah, it... It's, it ended up starting the, the Chinese United Front early, and then all the nations, except uh, us, of course, uh, ended up joining that. Which isn't really useful to us. It's got to be useful to us to, to, to really warrant doing that. You need 50 transports per paratrooper unit, which is really dumb. Like they, they should have weighted it because you could have a, you could have like an 80 width paratrooper division and it'll still require the same amount of transports to, to drop it as a two width would cost, which it's silly in my opinion. Like I can understand, you know, the desire to, to stop people from like, just doing mass amounts of pair drops, but it really, I don't know. It just seems silly to be able to drop, uh, like, you know, hundreds of thousands or whatever, like, like 80,000 troops versus 2,000 troops or 1,000 troops. With the same amount of transports. So, I don't know. It is what it is. It doesn't matter that much in the grand scheme of things. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to justify in the Netherlands. That's the first thing we need to do. Yeah, it completely slipped my mind last time. All right, so same thing. Co cooperation with communists. And let's do improved work conditions, I guess. Yeah. And then uh, once that justification finishes, we'll do a justification on the USA. All right, so we're also going to need to put a port next to this airport here because we want that to actually have supplies in the Soviet lands. If it does not have supplies, you actually can't launch your transports. So, yeah, it's, it's not a good deal. So we actually have a decent amount of population. 4.38 million is not that bad. <laughs> I've, I've worked with a lot worse plenty of times. And we do have two pretty bad negatives to start. So we have that ineffective bureaucracy and government corruption. I'd like to get rid of both of those, but it does require us to do extra focuses to do that. So, yeah, that's the only downside. Yeah, Xinjiang's a major compared to Luxembourg. Well, I was just playing Luxembourg last night, too, so that's what I was somewhat referring to. <laughs> 
All right, let's get uh, dispersed industry, I guess. I'm actually kind of curious what happens if you invite Shane Kai Shek and then you just you don't imprison him, you choose the other option. I'm actually not sure what will happen in that situation. Probably nothing, or I don't know. Maybe it does something, but nothing great. How much population does eBay somehow have? Okay, so they they have considerably more than we do. So Sinkiang must be about the worst, uh, population-wise. Yeah, because even Yunnan, you have 12 million. You only have two provinces, but 12 million populations. And then, of course, Guangxi has a ridiculous amount. Shanxi has a lot here in Shanxi itself. Menkyukyo is the worst. Oh, yeah, for sure. But they're not even like... That's like fake China. <laughs> they do have a core here in uh, Shuiwan. Shuiwan. Oh, and they have one on Ordos. Okay. But yeah, yeah, they have the generic tree, which, which is weird. They they should have an option to still unite China though. All right, we're going to keep moving down. Let's do uh actually which one is worse? Well, I guess we could get land value, value tax, but it doesn't really matter right now. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this one because that's a stability hit as well. So we'll go down the left path and then we'll do the right path. <clears throat> All right, where are we at on our justification? This probably actually isn't even that necessary, but I, I, I do need to waste some time anyways in the meantime. Um... Because we, we have a long time until we can actually get enough transport planes. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, or, or Unite Mongolia or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. I, I would guess that they'll add a Mongolian formable eventually. Uh, if you went for a fascist civil war, you could lose all those bad national spirits. Yeah, just instantaneously. We're going to gain some uh, bad national spirits anyways, though. So. Because uh, we're going to take over China. And they, they have a ton to start. Low popular support. Red Army weakened. Uh, I'm going to click some stuff here. Let's get our train now. Uh, what else do they have? Power struggles. Aftermath of the long march. Ooh. Construction speed negative 50%. Ouch. But yeah, we'll, we'll be taking over... Uh, coming as as the real communist China forming Turkestan. Oh, you you're talking about uh, Tehran among us, uh, Amogus. <laughs> Tehran's a bit different than Turkestan. So the people that can form Turkestan is Tanu Tuva, Sinkiang. Uh, I think there's some other ones, maybe like Kazakhstan or. Uh, one of these other ones that are in here. I can't remember all of them now, but yeah. All right, judiciary reforms. Let's do that now. There's a mod called Ancient Formable Nations that adds a Mongol uh, Khan formable. A lot of them are neat, but a struggle since you can't get course till you control everything. Uh, yeah, so it's like a... It's kind of like Persia or uh, Ara doing Arabia. All right, we have 150 PP. Let me let me check my notes here. I have like nothing on that. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna save the PP for now though because uh, when our justification on Netherlands is done, then I'm gonna do a justification on the USA. So it's almost done too. And we'll we'll declare war right away when we can. Okay, 
Okay, there we are. There we are. Justification down on the Netherlands. Declare war. We're not going to call in the communists or uh, the the uh, common turn. That's what I was meaning there. All right, so we'll do a justification on the USA now. It's sixty-two percent uh, world tension will increase. We only need it to be about like 40, 45%, somewhere around there. Uh, we just want it to be enough to where we can then beg lend lease from Poland and from Hungary. We could also get some stuff from Austria, Finland, uh, Turkey, Bulgaria, Greece, Romania, Yugoslavia. Any of those are going to be pretty good to get some freebies from. Anyone that has a surplus of guns at this point in the game. Oh, okay. Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Kiva, Karkalpakstan, Bukhara, Tanutuva, and Sinkian. Dang. That's nuts. So that's everyone that can do Turkestan. But uh, the best is Tanutuva because they can do Siberia and Turkestan. Well, actually, really, Sinkian is the best because then you can get cores on all of China and Turkestan as well. So that's that's actually the best second place would be tanatuba i think because they, they can also do two why did i declare war on the netherlands because we can lend, we can beg for lend lease so we will queue up these like that that gives us a ten thousand deficit and oh look uh, mongolia wants to send us some goods i'm gonna accept that let's get some stuff from tanatuba as well But we can't get any lend -lease from anyone else unless they're fascist or communist right now. So that's why I'm spiking the world tension. If I can spike it enough, we'll get some freebies from people that actually have some stuff. I think at this point in 1936, only Hungary has anything. Um, but eventually Poland will start having a ton of stuff. You hacked my brain, WTF. What was that about? Was that a uh, response to someone else? South Tyrol as a releasable. Why would you want South Tyrol as a releasable? That sounds just garbage. It is about the Tanu Tuva is the best because it fucking form Siberia. No way it's Sinkiak. I mean, what would you say is the best out of any of those? <laughs> Out of anyone that can form Turkestan. That's got to be the... I, I would think Sinkyang has to be the best. <laughs> I mean, it's still not great because your your industry is still, still going to be garbage unless you can get industry from somewhere else. Which is part of what I'm trying to do with um, with this Netherlands and, uh, of course, then we'd, we would get Dutch East Indies as well. That's, that's kind of the plan here is that's how we're going to get industry. Um because there's some industry down here. There's, of course, resources as well. People can import that from us. There's good industry in the Netherlands itself. Um, so basically what I'm going to try to have them do is for them to join the uh, Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity co Sphere. That's the, the goal here. I don't know if I want to do this one first or then uh, or, or do these first and then do this. I don't know. I don't know if it matters. Sinkiang Alliance. Uh... CPSU, where we already have CPSU as the ruling party. Let's us create the factions. Um, I don't. Maybe that could be useful. Actually, I didn't even think about that. If we could uh, create a faction with someone and and have them capitulate, that'd be kind of fun. Uh, I don't know if there'd be anyone that interesting we could do that with. We would need that modifier to create the faction, like. Oh, but I mean, we're going to be in the Soviet faction for a while anyways, so it, it really doesn't matter. What? China has bigger industry than Germany in 1930. What if it was united? If it was complete? It's 39 on its own right now. 54 to 90 in Germany. Uh, I, I would think all the majors are, are doing significantly better. Oh, okay, yeah, when entire China is unified. That would make a little more sense, but uh, even then, I, I don't think it's good. 
two factories up here in Mankyukyo. <laughs> Four to six in all of Manchukyo. But you can't really unite it instantly anyways. That's the thing. Wait, I'll check it for you. <laughs> if you want almost every province that's releasable, you could play Magna Europa. I'm not certain if South Tyrol is releasable or not. Oh, yeah. I don't know if the Tuva is Turkic. I mean, it might not be in real life, but it, it at least is uh, considered Turkic in, in the game. All right, yeah, we'll just do this first. Land value, land value tax. Oh, I never got the... Uh, we we got to get our army offense guy. So we are training, but I should have done that earlier because uh, XP would be nice. Tuva is actually Turkey. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that area, really. I mean, I know even, like, Xinjiang is somewhat Turkic, or the western parts. Um, that could probably get me in trouble with, uh, <laughs> with China. Even, even saying that. I don't care. Not big enough to matter anyways. <laughs> All right, 33% world tension at the moment. Oh, really? They're Buddhists in tu Tanituba. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess... <laughs> They they have forty factories already in China. That's somewhat impressive. I mean, I I don't usually think of China as a industrial powerhouse or anything, but that's not that bad. Like even even Japan is not that much better. Yeah, of course, Turkey is a very wide term. Yeah, it goes all the way to Turkey. Probably even further than that. Yeah, there's going to be big differences between the peoples between there. Yeah. Yeah, UK is uh, guaranteeing China, China, of course, because uh, they they always do this. Although, actually, you know what? They, they might do that earlier because of our all of our uh, spiking world tension. I think that's actually uh, why that happened already. But it won't matter because uh, when China creates the United Front, then that guarantee goes away anyways. So it doesn't it doesn't actually do anything. All right, we're over 40%. I should have improved relations already, but it's not a big deal. Uh, improve relations with Hungary. Improve with uh, Poland. Let's do Finland. And I guess... I don't know who else. Turkey might have something at this point. I don't know who would be the best. Let me see if I have any notes on this. Oh, in my notes, I just had, uh, <laughs> I just had improved relations with Hungary and Poland. So, uh, yeah, this is fine. We'll, we'll improve with, uh, Finland as well. Are you going, uh, how spider are you going fascist to get the standard Chinese tree? I think it's better. No, no, no. I'm going to go, um, I, I'm going the middle route, so we're going to join the Chinese Soviet, and then we're going to do the Yunnan incident, and we're going to take over the communist faction. LMAO, cool idea. What was the cool idea? Just to, uh, to, to take over the, the Chinese communist China? Or, or begging the lend lease. Prevent uh, Chinese United Front from existing. You can do it as a warlord and let UK fight Japan early. Oh, yeah, thank you. Cancel the justification on the USA. Good call. Yeah, thank you. Glad I have you guys to uh, <laughs> help my brain. <laughs> All right, we got 35 XP. Let's do ideological loyalty. Um, 
All right, let's see if we can get anything yet. No, not yet. Yeah, especially when I'm uh, doing lots of things and chatting, it's it's kind of difficult to remember everything. So I appreciate it. All right, guns. Let's get some guns from Finland if they have any. Nah. Uh, convoys. We'll take some convoys. Actually, you know what? I should probably improve with like uh, Italy or Germany and get some convoys in that way. Or maybe even both. Because we will need a significant amount of convoys. Mm. We could also maybe actually improve with Japan and, and receive convoys from them and maybe even some guns. I mean, we're not going to... Well, let's see. How soon are we going to fight them? Okay, we we need 16 more transport planes. So we're actually not too far off. I, no, we're going to we're gonna have some more time. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely have more time. Uh, because... Um, let's do Germany, because I think they actually have some guns at this point. Um, what was I saying? We'll have some time before we attack Japan, because we really need to beg a lot before that because like right now we only have enough for like two divisions so um and, and obviously that's not gonna be enough these are these also aren't great divisions these are just pretty standard divisions oh shoot okay um i also forgot i need to research paratroopers so let's do that i'm just gonna switch it out uh for the other tech that we were getting because that's gonna be more important All right, we are getting some convoys, but I'm going to uh, hopefully beg for some more before that first convoy comes in. So then we'll get at least 60 from Germany and Japan. At least I think we can import from Japan. Actually, you know what? I don't know if if it can because we don't actually have a port. Um, it might be that that there's just going to be considered no uh, no entry. Okay, they don't have a guns at this point. That's okay. Uh, let's ask for convoys. Japan, do you have guns? They do have guns and convoys. But yeah, I think it's going to say, yeah, no legal transport path. Unfortunate. All right, I'm just going to stop improving relations with them because that's not going to actually do anything for us then. Um, yeah, that's sad. Very, very sad. Because I'll never be able to get that from them. Nice, we finished up. Did we? We already built the port. Did we get? And we got a railway to it. Nice. Uh, let's increase this railway a bit. And I guess we'll in increase this railway as well. Some. Like, considering that you're playing on historical, and the AI should always have the same production lines, you should always get the same amount of guns. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Um, I think the AI does slight variations. It's not an exact thing every single time. More guns from Mongolia. Don't mind if I do. All right, so we're getting the paratrooper tech. We'll get dispersed industry as well. We have our 500 manpower coming in now. That's good. That'll help with uh, being able to produce more. Five factories less than the Soviet Union. Huh, interesting. But they're so disunited and everything, it's going to be a struggle to actually get all those factories. But that's actually more than, than what I expected they, they actually had. Oh, improved relations just all canceled because we're too poor. We have no PP whatsoever. All right, we got some lend lease already. Let's do this again. Convoys of guns. Just guns from Hungary. And hopefully guns and convoys from Finland. We will see. Nope, just convoys. That's fine. All right, yeah, we'll end up with a decent amount of convoys from this then. Hindenburg, oh my gosh, a million things to click. 
All right, join the Chinese Soviet. This I don't think this focus is actually going to do anything except uh, increase relations with a couple people. But yeah, it's fine. Yeah, see, they're, we're already getting almost 1,400 from Poland. It's great. I thought I'm greedy when it comes to lend lease. It, you have to be greedy with this with this idea. Like, there, there's no way not to be greedy. <laughs> Actually, uh, so Jaswag, did you check? Are there any factories in, like, East Hebei, uh, Hong Kong, Macau? Uh, what is this one called? Guangzhou? Did you check those as well? Oh, and then of course Taiwan. That's oh, and and this one, uh, Dalian. There's all kinds of little provinces as well. Oh, okay, you checked all the cores. Nice, you were thorough. <laughs> Did you ever check? I, I commented on one of your videos. Um, what was that? Oh, it, it was the thing with um, like britain taking over france uh after france does all the all the core nonsense like uh making al andalus with uh libya um arabia with uh, with uh, libya as well or not with libya algeria uh and then doing arabia with uh, syria and then getting all those cores getting also incorporating uh spain and portugal and brazil and all that stuff and then doing the um the, the Franco-British Union. Did you check if that's actually possible? Because I, I know we checked on it, but it was like... It didn't seem to work right. Because we were... Uh, some people in my Discord and everything were, were looking into uh, trying that as like a challenge. Like a, like a big multiplayer uh, challenge. Yeah, of course, the, the chance for that. you I mean, you can... Uh, we... Um, what we talked about doing is just loading up like a, a save where all of them accept and just cheesing it to make that happen to, to force that to happen okay more lend lease is needed I hope Finland has something now guns please thank you actually I should check Germany again I bet they have some extra guns Hungary. Give me guns, Germany. Nah. They're not going to help out. Scumbag Germany. Yeah, I, I think you can edit the save or something to... Um, or you can edit the event files or, or something like that to, to force it to where they will all say yes. Hello, hello, Johnson. It's like point zero zero four or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's really, really bad odds for for all of that to happen. It's like horrendous odds. I I would guess that there's like somebody that's had it happen, but um, if they did and they didn't post on Reddit, like, yeah, then what? Why? You had like if you do that in Iron Man and and you have it happen. That's easily like, uh, yeah, you can, you can, uh, farm all that. Um, what is that called? Reddit karma. <laughs> I don't care about that, honestly, but I know some people do. Franco British union cores on France last till the war is over. Right. So what you would have to do in that case is just have a, a, um, uh, a war uh, an, a never ending war so um, <laughs> some people do <laughs> quotation marks um, yeah you would just like like fight Iceland or something as, as Britain and then you would have I mean obviously Iceland's never going to invade you and, and kill you so it wouldn't be hard to keep those cores forever of course if you're doing a, a world conquest that's not going to work out for you but
I'm gonna have to get some paratroopers pumped out soon here too. Actually, let's get these troops dumped out. That way I can keep begging for Lendleys. Yeah, this is going to get real greedy with the Lendleys. Like, you you have to. Do, there's no choice but to do this. You can't build your own industry. You're, you're Sinkiang with five factories. So there's no way to, to not cheese it. <laughs> All right, there's another 3,500 guns. Yeah, I actually did grab the Marxist spirit from Manpower already. Yeah, it's, uh, that, that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> That's how we're we're managing. Honestly, I did it, but I did order sixty six. Yeah, I, I don't want to do order. I don't like order sixty six, but to each his own. That's it's fair. <laughs> if they haven't patched it at this point, obviously they want it in the game. So, although you could probably say that about some of the other uh, bugs and stuff that <laughs> that still exist for a super long amount of time. All right, we do have the war going on here between China and Japan. Um, so I do want to get in on this before Japan gets, like, massive war score. But so so the sooner we can invade Japan, uh, the better it's going to be for us. But um, obviously, you know, we still need more guns, and we still need the paratrooper tech. Um, we do have enough transport planes now, at least, so that's good. Uh, we can go ahead and set up these here. Uh, no, we can't because we don't have manpower. I might need to actually do uh, go up to limited conscription because otherwise we're not we're just not gonna have the manpower. I mean, I can cancel some of these lines. That's something I can do, but yeah, I want to keep big in the lend lease here as long as we can. All right, man. Have a good one, Sajazwak. Fun is impossible in this game. Yeah, so it's uh, basically Order 66 in the Baltic states. So it's somewhat historical. Yeah, they're like, hey, uh, we need to station these troops in your lands. What are you going to do about it? Another suffering on Hoi 4. Yeah, I wanted to play CK2, but uh, <laughs> you guys don't seem to be a fan of the CK2, so I nixed that idea. We'll see if we can get this challenge done. I hope I can. I think I can. So right now we're setting up for a uh, pair drop of Japan. Um, that's going to be the plan here. So I'm going to try to, right now we're in the Soviet faction and, uh, we're actually about to take over communist China here real soon. So let's see here. A couple of days here and then we're going to have a bunch more troops. So that, this does do one bad thing, but it's not a big deal. Uh, the Soviet Union, they get civilian industry to target country plus 5% and military industry to target country. So we're actually going to be sending a tribute to the Soviets now. However, like, just think about this. What is 5% of 4? <laughs> it's not even 1, right? So we're not going to send any civilian factories to them. And what's 15% of 1? Or Sorry, we have 2 now. Okay, well, we're moving up in the world. 15% uh, of 2 is still not 1. So, <laughs> Oh, hey, are you going to use my strat posted on the British Steel server, or have you figured out a better strat? Um, I, I'm actually not sure what you're referring to. I don't know if I've seen that thread. Uh, yeah, I, I am in the uh, British Steel server, but I, I've been a little less active lately because I have my own server. So I've been more in my own. But uh, 
yeah i don't know when you posted it too uh but this is this is uh, mostly a strat that i figured out myself i did watch some other people's videos like i think i watched um Oh man, this was a long time ago now, but I think Bubble Zest did a video on this, and then um, I know Sajazwak did one. He was actually just in here chatting, but yeah. Okay, we got a bunch of extra troops now as well. And let's get military access with at least Shanxi, maybe ZZ base somewhat. No, they're not in the uh, United Front, so. Uh, but to be able to supply these troops and uh, get them out as well. Uh, we need to um, get military access. So right now they're actually like they're not supposed to be here. They uh, the AI does not like that they're over here. Uh, but we pretty much have enough manpower now. I think um, I'd like to get maybe one more lend lease from all of these people, and then uh, I can be happy with that. So Hungary, Poland, and. Finland and actually I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and see if um, if Germany has anything yeah typically by this point in the game they will have a little bit of extra lend lease but it is slightly RNG okay there we go and let's get some artillery I want to have some artillery in our paratrooper divisions ideally I might not be able to afford it though so we'll see all right and we just switched to the communist China focus tree now so um, yeah we're, we're, we're moving on up in the world. However, this also gave us some of the negatives that plagued uh, communist China. <laughs> we, we did at least keep the land value tax. That's really good. Negative 5% consumer goods. And ideological education. That doesn't matter too much. We already have 100% communism support. Um, so we still have recovery from the, from the long march. Uh, low popular support. Power struggles. Red army weakened and oh and then we just got that soviet tribute as well which is another bad thing so we have some uh things that we need to do to fix our nation so i'm going to go ahead and uh, start with the political tree here i want to be able to get rid of some of these negatives so like this one is going to be really good uh replace aftermath of the long march with recovery from the long march and that's actually going to give us five percent extra factory output uh the 25 percent construction speed will just replace uh, what is already there we have a negative 25 percent at the moment but we only have negative five percent factory output at the moment so uh like i said that'll give us an extra five percent um i don't know maybe we could go to, like the left side but i don't see how this one would be better like yeah look at this this focus currently has no effect but we would still have to go through the focus it's not even bypassed so we have to do 70 days for literally nothing <laughs> uh yeah it's bad Soviet economic aid. Okay, that would remove the recovery from the long march. That's cool, but it's uh, it's a bit further down the list. Uh, Communist China seeks to join the common turn. We're already in the common turn. So this one at least would be bypassed, I think. Yeah, bypass the focus. Mm, can create factions. We can already create factions, so this one's going to be useless actually for us. Uh, but this one's actually really good too. So um, Maoism grants infantry equipment negative 10%. We don't even have Mao, so we just took over for Mao. <laughs> but we'll we'll still be able to get Maoism uh, for, for whatever reason. And then we should be able to proclaim the People's Republic. Um, I don't think that actually really does anything for us. It, it's, it just, literally just changes our name. Estimated army strength ratio of 50% more compared to who? It doesn't say. Just compared to. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't think that does anything. Let's see. Does this one do anything? This one's just going to allow us to have another political leader, apparently. The civilian infrastructure guy. Yeah, that's, that's trash. Um... Yeah, so I'm guessing we would only need to go down to Maoism and then we can switch to other things because we already have all these other bonuses. Where is the army tree? Uh, is this the army? No, it's not. Um, possibly it's in here. Uh, yeah, division defense and core territory, mobile warfare. Yeah, so it's, it's down here. Uh, so, so through this one is where you would get the, the army stuff. Most of these bonuses are kind of like centered around uh, the idea that you would be fighting Japan. 
Um, but we're going to be fighting Japan more than likely for a rather short amount of time. <laughs> uh, because, we're gonna, like I said, we're going to pair drop them. So let's do this focus now. I've uh, uh, talked enough about that now. <laughs> all right, more guns. Give me all the guns. Ah, oh, we need 187 now. Shoot. I'm going to have to wait even longer to get that. Social democracy is the best path. Uh, it, it would be if we wanted to do the power struggle. But I don't want to do the power struggle. Um, basically, I, I tested that out. And it's like... The, the issue is you need a ton of PP and, and guns and other things. Uh, manpower, you need all kinds of stuff to get enough points to actually take over China. So what we're going to do instead, uh, because we have cores on all of this, like now because we are the communist China, we just took over as communist China, we have core states on everything. So we have cores on, on all of China, every single Chinese state including um, Manchukuo. Um, so we're good there. It, if, if we can just have the Soviets help us defeat China, that's going to work out way better. Like Because they'll end up using their points to actually help us take stuff too. So it, it, it works out really, really well. All right, so we're getting one last Lend Lease. Um, I should probably actually cancel some of these lines so that we actually have manpower. That didn't increase it much. Uh, this one? No. No. This one? This one? 2.77k. I need like 5,000. Um, is that enough? I hope 4.77k is enough to actually deploy these planes. 4960. Okay. Uh, we'll delete one more line. There we go. Okay. All right, so we're getting that set up. Um, I'm probably just going to change some divisions into paratroopers here. Uh, but we will have to create a nice like paratrooper template as well. I'm going to duplicate this one. Uh, and then let's just do like a 12 width. And like I said, I wanted to get artillery in here, but I don't know if we're actually going to have enough artillery to do that. But we'll, we'll go with that for now. How's the territory so far? So right now, what is this? Base area in Henan. No messages have it. I don't know what that is. I'm not even fighting. Uh, or wait, no, I am at war with Japan now. Yeah, I forgot. We don't actually have to justify them because we took over the wars that... Um, uh, why can't I think? Um, that Communist China already had. So we, when we took them over, we took on all of their wars and all of their responsibilities that they already had going on. Uh, Eli almost missed the stream. How'd you almost miss it? <laughs> Alright, let's get... I'm going to get all of our troops up here into the ports. I want to be next to these ports. All three of those ports will, will do just fine. I will add that guy in. And you know what? I should have done this a while ago, but let's promote some people. Oh... Instantly inflexible strategist. Nice. It's a harsh leader. Um, Gaofeng would probably make a good field marshal. Let's do that. Offensive doctrine, and let's go. All right, so we'll, we'll get all of these troops uh, sent up. Why are we losing convoys? I don't understand what we would need to be supplying here. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, we have, like, no trains. Maybe that's part of our issue. 
Okay, I'm gonna commandeer some trains once we get armored train. We have 11 artillery. Oh, we do have troops over here now. And they have no... They have really bad supplies. Uh, I might just have to do regular civilian trains. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I want our troops not to attrition. They'll still attrition because we're training them, but that, that's normal. All right, let's let's uh, let's change some of these into the paratroopers. I think we can get four. Let's see if we can get another one. Nope. Yeah, just four. Okay. We're going to keep training those as well. I don't really want to call the Soviets in, ideally. Um, and yeah, there's no Japanese planes anywhere around here so far, so that's really good. We should have full supplies here, and we nearly have 100, so we're, we're in good shape. Alright, agrarian socialism, let's do that next. Now we have a bunch of PP, so we can finally get limited conscription. Thank you. Okay, we have 30. Wait, why did that just give us a bunch more military factories? I don't understand that, but I'll take it. All right, uh, let's see how many uh, this is going to cost. Okay, so it's 12 per. So we'll be able to afford that at least eventually. I'm going to add those in right now, though. We can't quite afford it, but uh, we're, we're building a lot of them, so it'll, it'll be good. And this is the port that we're going to be going for right here, this naval base. So we're going to have to hit that as hard as we can. Was that Netherlands that was sinking a convoy of ours way over here? I don't know what that was. All right, uh, let's do infantry expert probably. I do want our troops to be a little bit stronger, especially because we're going to be pushing into Japan soon. We're going to be doing that pair drop, and then we're going to try to sweep in to Japan as fast as we can. I got you. I based mine off of bubbles. The mine is way harder... Because uh, I'd go down Maoism, so I can still be named the PRC after former Turkestan. Probably posted it like a month or two ago. Yeah, I don't think I saw that one. So many focuses for nothing. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was just going over. It's like, yeah, a bunch of them just don't do anything for you. It's unfortunate. Okay, I want to at least... Okay, we, we have all trained on these. I don't think I want to wait until we get regular veterancy. Uh, that might be too long to, to wait. I could probably dump these other units out. They're not going to be fully supplied, but we can use them to help uh, with the invasion. So yeah, let's just dump them out. That'll give us 25 troops. And we're, we're getting more manpower by the day, so it should be okay. I don't know. Maybe I should actually get these guys to regular veterancy before I invade. I don't know. I'm torn. I don't want to fail the, the uh, pair drop because if they happen to have a bunch of troops here in this naval base, we could run into some issues. Like, basically, we need them to have, like, max one troop there, and then we should be able to defeat them. But if they have, like, two or three, we could run into some major issues. Yeah, 
All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and set this up now. First pair drop, Aomori. Second one. Why do we have no supplies? Second one will be here. Third will be across the straight, right up here. And then the fourth is going to drop directly on top of the province that we're wanting. There we go. I'm wondering if they're trying to supply these troops by sea rather than the railroad. Which is really dumb because there's there's definitely railways up to here. Yeah, I don't know. It's annoying. Make a tactical save so you can reload in case you fail. Good call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't uh, expect failure, but it's probably a good thing to do. <laughs> Yeah, it's still going to be a while. We're only at 60% 60, 60 training. I think all of our other troops are in place, too. So most of them are veterans now, which is good. What are these divisions? Eight widths. Oof. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's get some a little bit of uh, organization here. And then I'll do the drops. Add that into the field marshal so we can get the field marshal bonuses. And doesn't look like they have any planes up. None whatsoever. Perfect. That's what we want to see. So I'm guessing they have all their planes up in this region trying to push through there. Oh, they've, they've got two troops. That might be too many. I don't know. We'll see. So there's like three separate battles going on here, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Oh, they've got three troops in there. Oh, wait. Oh, this one has zero org, though, or near zero org. If we can just destroy it, then we'll be fine. I'm going to force attack. Uh, crap. Okay, we lost this one. There we go. Uh, if these two units pop, we might be okay. But, oh, see, they've got troops coming in from the outside now. I think we're screwed. All right, I'm glad you did that. I uh, talked about that tactical save. Because <laughs> I think we're already screwed for this. Yeah, yeah, there, there they go. Hmm. Well, the only other thing we can do is uh, we can get to the regular veterancy and then hope that hope that this will work out. But we've got to get a port and we've got to get it fast. And that's the only real place that we can go. Um, there is one more port way up here, but I don't know if we can even reach it. Like, like say if, if these were up here, I don't think it would actually reach there. Oh, hey, Krasnamera. <sighs> yeah, I'm thinking we, we definitely need the full veterancy on these units. We also could maybe... Uh, it might put us over the limit. Yeah, it would put us over the special forces limit, unfortunately, to, in to increase it anymore. So four is pretty much the max that we can go. Uh, with, with the 12 widths. Yeah, that's that's frustrating. Because this is just going to be pure RNG based on like what they have around there. Because they have all these troops up here uh, guarding the Soviet border. And then they also have troops on this border in Mancuccio. And then, of course, they have the troops down here. 
So they have troops all over the place, and they're still able to keep that many troops up in their ports. It's kind of impressive. <coughs> With full veterancy, we will do significantly more damage. So that is the thing that we can wait on. But the more time, the longer we wait, the more war score that China gets and the less that we will have compared to them. So that's not a great thing. Um, you know, actually, I do think that I need to call um, the Soviets in eventually, at least, because then it'll force the Netherlands into the greater East Asian co prosperity sphere. We kind of want that to happen. Okay, three out of the four have it now. Let's wait for the other one and then we'll go. I should probably do an improved worker conditions. Almost done. Hey, we're done. All right. Oh, there's another thing we can do. We have 100 army XP now. So we could get superior firepower. That'll give us an extra 10% soft attack. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, let's grab another save here. Xinjiang 2. And let's launch. Okay. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Only one cavalry there this time. Okay, why is no one joining the battle? <laughs> Come on. We need you. Here, I guess we can increase our reinforce rate 2%. Hopefully that'll help. Yeah, there we go. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, so we're getting attacked from the outside now, so we're going to have to do a force attack. But the unit's surrounded. It's taking really bad org loss and strength loss. We should be able to win this soon. There's another unit, more units. No, no, we're being attacked everywhere. So we're gonna have to get this port really fast. Or we're gonna have to get our other troops in here really fast. Okay, we got it. All right, we gotta hold. And we have, what, how do we, oh, we've lost so many convoys. Okay, we somehow we can still use like ghost convoys. <laughs> okay, well they're moving in. Okay, good. We gotta get troops there really fast. All right, I'm gonna do a new front line here. Let's delete this order. 
Uh, new front line and it's going to be 24 right here. And then the rest I'm just going to put up here, but not yet. If we did it right now, it would be a bad deal for us. Uh, you want to wage $1 on a 1v1? I need $2. I think there's a better way to get uh, $2 than that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to actually push up here in the north. We're about to be pushed out here. I might need to do a last stand. Yeah, let's do it because I, I want to be able to defend this. In this case, I want the defense rather than offense because we're not look. We're we're just looking to hold the territory. We're not looking to like push them out or anything. Okay, let's do that. Maoism, I guess. Get that stability. Okay, we got some troops up in here. Soviets are wanting to join the wars now. Oh, they pushed us out. That's not great. Uh, so we're at zero convoys again. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if we can. Yeah, we can get some from Germany. Actually, can we can we beg for uh, goodies? Let's see. Yeah, we can. I'm going to uh, start recruiting some more units as well since we have the guns. Okay, and let's uh, let, let's put these five up here. I'm going to try to get all the way to this port. Soviets are going to give us some guns. Nice. I'll take it. Let's see if we can push out a little bit here. Grab that airport. Actually, another thing I could probably do is pair drop behind these guys somewhere. Like down here. And then just crush all of them. Ooh, I like that idea. Okay. Um, here, let's do this. These units. Okay, and then I'm going to cancel this order. I'm going to bring these units back down here. And we're going to try to sneak in. Uh, the supply situation. Less than optimal. I need to spread out some more for sure. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to try to pair drop like these two provinces right here. And then uh, we'll just try to crush all these units because there, there's no um, there's no ports or anything. So it should work.
Right, I'm gonna launch. Nice. There's nothing there. Okay, it looks like they were trying to send units over here, though, so... Uh, we got to push. We need to push. Sweet, we got it. Definitely like this uh, this method. So now they're all completely surrounded. We're gonna blow them all up. It's harder to close these pockets than I expected it to be. Oh wow, Japan's starting to stack the north. They just took all the troops away from down here for whatever reason. What's your favorite focus tree in the game? Uh, I am partial to Greece. I think uh, Greece's um, 
Factories, at least, is one of the best in the game. It's incredibly powerful. Alright. I'm going to have to pin this troop. Um, I actually really like France's as well because they have uh, great options for like monarchy and uh, just uh, some weird options. Uh -oh, what was that? Home Islands. Naval Invasion. Where? Oh, they're coming behind me. No. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to garrison that. I'm going to have to destroy those troops as fast as possible. Because if they start stacking that port, it's going to be a problem. Oh, they just cut off the troops up here too. One unit trapped. <sighs> the Japanese troops are just so much stronger than ours. This is looking pretty nasty. Oh yeah, dude, the uh, the Polish tree is great too. That is another one that's really nice. Just force attacking everywhere. Uh, the pain. There goes one troop. Uh, well, we're at least destroying them up here, but man, this is ugly. I thought this, uh, this Japan invasion was going to be way easier. Forcing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this in like much more bite-sized chunks, I think, because they're they're starting to bring so many troops back. Uh, another thing we can do, we can call the Soviets in. I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. 
Wait, Netherlands joined the Allies. Why did they join the Allies? That's not good. Like, wouldn't it make sense for them to join <laughs> the Greater East Asian Co Prosperity Sphere? Oh, gosh. I did not want to be at war with the allies. I don't see how that would be helpful. Yeah, and we can't push these guys out. Ugh. I hate this so much. We finally destroyed these troops, but like now we're going to lose all three of these and all the others are just going to die. All right, here. Send this up here. They don't have any uh, planes over their home islands yet. We've still inflicted a, a good amount of damage on them, and we do have a, a high war participation. So that's something. Gotta try to save our boys. Try to destroy those. If I can destroy those in time, the, these troops will be saved or rescued. Um, and now these are encircled here, so that's good too. I'm going to try to pair drop up here and try to just screw them over on supplies. Let's drop there. Drop here. And drop here. Ah, oh, they, they brought planes back. No. No. All right, we did we did wipe them out though. Yeah, the home light the home islands are covered now, unfortunately. All right, we got more troops up. Let's destroy them quick, quick, quick. Oh wait, wait, we landed. Nice. They like they took them away for a brief moment or something. Ah, oh, that's that's beautiful. So now that all these troops are screwed. All right, and okay, this is looking up now. That was looking real uh, dicey for a while, but I think we're in good shape now. Let's get these troops up.
Watch the border with the Raj. Oh. Oh no. Uh, Soviets will help us with that, I think. But I forgot about that. Uh, did you think about playing EU4 one day? Not really. Um, I, I played it a little bit and I didn't really love it. I don't know. It was okay. I, I just didn't like, like there were certain things that you just like can't do in it. Um, it, it kind of uh, hamstrings you a little bit. Like, it's like, oh no, you can't. Um, what was the thing that I really disliked? Like colonization. It's like, oh, uh, you shouldn't colonize because uh, the, the other nations will do it and you should just fight them. I'm like, but I want to colonize. And they're like, oh no, don't do that because it's uh, it's inefficient. So like, yeah, but I like to do it. Well, don't do it. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't like that. Like it it doesn't make sense too. Like I don't know. They, you should be able to get rich. Uh, and maybe maybe this would be a game breaking thing or something. But um, you should be able to get rich uh, by by actually uh, colonizing. I, I think. I just didn't like that. Wow, we are absolutely out of manpower. Okay, we need to go to extensive. We're doing really, really bad on manpower. Yeah, we're not going to get that. That's okay. Oh, did they add something where you can get treasure now or something? A treasure fleet? Yeah, you can colonize. I, it was just every single guide that I ever looked up, they were like, no, you shouldn't colonize um, because it's inefficient. You should let other people colonize and then just attack them and take it over. But yeah, I, this was like this was like years ago that I that I tried playing it and I didn't like that. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Now we're pushing straight through them. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. It's like, it's like a game about colonization, and you're like, don't do it. Okay. Well, what's the fun in that? They're like, oh, it's a game about colonization, but you shouldn't. You should just let the AI colonize. Sounds great. Oh no, <laughs> they're gonna cap me. There's nothing I can do about that. I all of my troops are away. Um, although we still have this, maybe we wouldn't actually cap. I hope. Oh, what's this? Manpower? <laughs> they're actively doing a, a naval invasion as they're being, like, just absolutely stomped. I love it. Finest AI.
All right, we can do some more repair drops. Yeah, we have full aerial supremacy. Oh, I guess we should put our planes there if we want to do that. Tokyo is falling. Oh, we definitely have enough for uh, for support artillery now. Shen Tuan won. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, I do need to... I'll probably have to beg again soon. What happened with Xinjiang Communist China? I wasn't here. So we turned into Communist China by... Uh, there, there's a focus that Xinjiang gets. Uh, you, you can basically just become Communist China. Become the new Communist China. So that's what that's what I did. Yeah, you like that name, Copy of Paratroopers? <laughs> it's very, very creative of me. It's almost as good as um, your faction name here. Alright, this is, this is a mop-up operation at this point. It's good. I hope uh, Soviets don't get too much war participation, though, because they will end up taking some stuff. I want to get the lion's share of everything. friends sent volunteers to Japan did they no they just have military access because uh, oh blue on Hiroshima um, they're, they're probably sending troops up there because for whatever reason uh, the Netherlands chose to join the the allies rather than joining the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. So I guess that was just a bad idea. I probably should have let, attacked someone like Siam or someone that's not aligned because they will absolutely join the Co-Prosperity Sphere. Someone like uh, Iran would work as well. Um, so I, yeah, probably Netherlands was not a good choice. Or even like Turkey, some, someone like that, where they actually have some factories and stuff. Hmm. 
Let's see if I can get their supply hub. Nope. Oh, uh, there's a tank in Hiroshima. So that's what you were seeing there. French tank. Yeah, you weren't wrong about that. I may end up losing this unit. We'll see. All right, so we could do the opium trade. That's going to give us negative 15% consumer goods factory. I don't, don't think I want to do that, though, because uh, we already got rid of that government corruption. I don't really want to get it back again. Uh, low popular support. We don't... 35%. We don't even have that anymore, do we? Okay, yeah, that's a useless focus now because that, that doesn't even exist anymore. So this one does nothing. Oh yeah, it'll bypass it, but bypassing it is useless. It doesn't do anything. Um, let's go ahead and do stuff up here, I guess. Or we could do this stuff, actually. Yeah, off-map factories. Those are always good. So let's do those. I hope I don't lose this unit. That would be rather annoying. Uh, hey, have you only just started? Kind of. I mean, we're still only in 1938, but uh, yeah, it's not it's not horrible. I may end up actually taking Hiroshima, it looks like. Well, that, that unit is taking no damage whatsoever. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. I have many hours in Hoi 4 and I don't know what to do anymore. Do you have any recommendations? Uh, just try new stuff. That always works for me. I mean, yeah, just just get creative with it. Uh, try stuff that you might not try otherwise. Try give yourself some challenges. Um, like try to uh, try try to win a an achievement that you've never done before, or try to uh, make up a challenge. Uh, try different mods. There's all kinds of things you could do with the game, like. Yeah, tons and tons and tons of content. It's it's nearly lim limitless. Although, I mean, I can understand, you know, getting uh, bored with uh, the, the game or, or uh, different aspects of it at times, too. Um, so, in that case... Um, just uh, play some different games. Or uh, touch grass, <laughs> as they say. Go outside, take a walk. Uh, yeah, don't, don't be inside all the time. I was actually at a festival today, it was kind of cool. Just a local festival. It's a lot of fun. All right. We nearly have Japan. Uh, 
legit burger. Yeah, his his uh his his crazy little challenge. He he actually said he he might try my um Luxembourg challenge, which would be cool. Um, because I, I messaged him a while back. Ooh, that deficit. Here, Germany, give us some more goods. I'm gonna try to get some more stuff from Poland and Hungary too. Wait, next delivery. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, Hungary and Finland. Let's do all all of those ones. I need guns very badly. Wait, Germany doesn't have any now? Uh, I thought for sure they would have some guns. Uh, watch tech. I don't actually have the watch tech achievement. I'm not sure that I know there's some weird requirements for it, so I'm not really sure exactly how that one is done. I think you need like you need some territory in uh, Italy or something. It, it, it's it's kind of goofy. All right, we're about to capitulate these guys, so I'm gonna just try to uh, pair drop the last places I need. Uh, let's, let's do this. Delete. Uh, there's an airport here. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Try to pair drop Nagasaki. And of course, there's troops there, unfortunately. They should cap soon. I think we just need Nagasaki. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, we have most of the points. China has 189, Soviet Union has 145. Not bad, really. Um, I'm thinking uh, Soviets will probably spend some points on us here. I hope. Yo, dude, 
Everybody's joining the, the Twitch chat. Nice. What's up, everyone? Did uh did Alex the Rambler just finish up? Oh, the Rambler 146. Is that that's the real Rambler, right? What's up, Creamy Lou? Oh, rating party. Nice. Oh, dude, Alex the Rambler rating me. I didn't even see it as a pop-up. Nice. Dude, epic. Thank you. Uh, I'm I've been blessed. <laughs> I actually just watched your uh, video. Um so uh, about, like uh, your family members with cancer. So yeah, I started to hear about that. Oh, oh thank you. Uh yeah, have a great stream. Take the doggo out. Yeah, good good call, man. Uh oh. All right, so we're basically what we're doing here, we're we're trying to um we're trying to to uh, go from Xinjiang into China and making Turkestan as well. So It's going pretty good so far. Uh we just we literally as as I was being raided, uh I just finished up conquering Japan. So, yeah. Did Stalin make you the communist China I just got here? Um no, so there's a thing that you can do f with Xinjiang, uh, and you can essentially just become uh, communist China. So what I'm going to do here for the peace deal, um, because we, we are technically China, we do have cores on everything. So we have cores on all of uh, Manchukuo, Manchukuo, uh, the other stuff that Japan owned as well. So Taiwan, uh, this territory here, this little tiny territory. Uh, but I kind of want to focus on just taking Japan mostly. Um, and I don't know whether I want to puppet it or just take the uh, territories because, like, um, yeah, it's it's difficult to say. Um, it, it, we, we need industry. I, I'm thinking I'm just going to take it for myself because we need the industry more than we need, like, manpower. Like, it, we'll be able to take some of Manchukuo. That's going to give us all the manpower we could possibly want. You can order 66 Japan and Annex China for free, both by 40. I mean, we're right now we're we're well before 40. I think we're still in 1938, so it's, we're we're doing pretty good. Creamy Lou, were you watching the ramp? Were you watching uh, Alex, or were you doing your own thing? I didn't see. Sorry, I've been bad about uh, checking who all's on and everything. Oh yeah. <laughs> what was Alex doing? What what was his plan? Uh, surprise party. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take all these industrial states, anyways. Uh, okay, so we'll we'll take those for now. That's 448. Enter demand. We're we're gonna uh, contest anytime anyone tries to tell us that we can't have something. Uh, China's taking all this stuff. Uh, no, China. So what is uh, what what in the heck was uh, the Soviets doing with all their points? Are they trying? Oh, they're trying to take this. So rather than even though I'm in their faction, rather than like helping a bro out and uh, giving me some of these states, they're they're like, nah, we're we're just gonna take that for ourselves. Uh, let's come back, Soviets. I, I want all these Japanese lands. That's the thing. But I, I also need manpower. So <laughs> I'm a little bit torn here. Uh, we could probably get these other states, though. Let's get this one because uh, it has more manpower. Uh, China. China's getting everything. Don't like that. All right, let's take the rest of this. All these industrial Japanese states. Like I said, we, we want to get all of those or as many as we can. Uh, let, let's actually contest China for these lands a little bit. I'm going to see what we can get here. Because the more manpower we can get, the, the easier it's going to be for us from here on out. So let's demand that. Uh, let's contest for these others. Oh, we don't have enough points. Uh, we might not be able to get a lot of it. Did you collab Japan? No, I actually didn't. Um, I just pair dropped them. So we have the, uh, there's an airport here in Vladivostok that I pair dropped from and we just surrounded this port right here 
And we were able to take the port and then flood it with Chinese troops, or of course, uh, communist Chinese troops. Well, they're technically Xinjiang troops, but so it's Xinjiang to communist China to, uh, yeah, <laughs> to, to pair dropping and uh, taking everything over. Okay, I'm not gonna get this for that one. That's 294 points. Uh, I could probably get this one. I could maybe get this one. Ooh, though, this one has all that steel. 45 steel. I want that. Give me. Wait, how much does Taiwan? 123. Okay, we'll just go with that. Contest. Soviets are trying to contest us. Oh, okay, we get a little fight going here between the Soviets uh, for Korea. Soviets and China for Korea. That's good. Let's go for this one. Go for this one. Okay, we're going to have to give up some of these. Unfortunate. Liao Tung. It's going to be pricey. All right, I'm going to give this one up. Oh the uh, japanese fleet oh i can't even take a navy even if i wanted to i probably should try to puppet japan somewhere Let, let's see if i can puppet them here in okinawa can i not subscribe i think you should be able to uh oh you're talking about like a, an actual like uh, subscription i i don't do a ton on twitch typically i'm on youtube the most uh, so that that might be uh, I, I don't think I have like the the actual like subscriptions, but you can at least follow me. And when I am on on Twitch, uh, you can then uh, see that. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't have an actual like subscription. I, I, I mean, you can uh, you can do like super chats or, or, or whatever it is on YouTube if you wanted to. So if, if that's what you're referring to. All right. So contest. Demand. Th this will be pretty decent if I can get most of this stuff. Yeah, we got we got most of Manchukyo. That that's nice. Okay, forfeit. I, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to uh, puppet Japan there. I could try maybe another spot. Kuril Islands. <laughs> I should have gone with that first, honestly, because now I don't think it's going to work out unless they give it up. No, they're not going to. So unfortunately, the entire fleet is going to disappear now. Uh, maybe the Soviets are puppeting them. I'm not actually sure what their demand is on this, but unfortunately, we're not going to get it because I was stupid. <laughs> All right, so confirm an exit. We don't have enough points to do anything else. Uh, da, da, da. Soviet Japan was puppeted. Okay, interesting. Wait, and Japan itself still exists. Ah. Do they have a fleet, though? They do have a fleet. I could easily just attack them and take the Kuril Islands and get there and puppet them. That's kind of epic. Uh, nice. Okay, well, at first I want to uh, do... I want to fight the Chinese United Front. They have a non-aggression pact with our leader. Uh, they all have non-aggression packs with the Soviets. That's not good. Hmm. And if I leave the Soviets, I'm going to be in bad shape. I uh, didn't expect that to happen. I don't know if there's another way I can do this then. Because they all have non-aggression packs with the Soviets. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to leave the Soviets, the Soviet faction, and then uh, and then do that. Do you have a Discord? Yeah, I do. Uh, it's linked in some of my videos. I think it's linked in my bio on YouTube as well. All right, well, we actually have manpower again now, so we're up to 36.77 million population. It's pretty good. 
Actually, you know what? This this was 100% the way to go because now we can just uh, yeah let's uh, justify a wargle on these guys, on Japan, and uh, we'll we'll easily be able to take their tiny little territory here. They have no divisions whatsoever, um, and then we'll be able to get an entire fleet. So actually, this is going to work out perfectly. All right, let's do this. So we're only in 1938 and we're, we're in pretty good shape. Um, I probably need to bring some troops over here. Let's bring the rest of these troops over here and we'll, we'll fight for that territory back. Actually, if we can take the entire British Raj, I would love that. Um, but after that, basically I'm going to try to get the, uh, the, uh, the Japanese fleet and we might be able to just do a naval invasion of Britain. I think that might be doable. Of course, they're, they're going to be going to war with the Axis soon. And that will give us some opportunities then. All right. What next? We're still at two research slots, and we, we destroyed Japan. <laughs> uh. All right, we actually have some factories now. We're, we're looking pretty good for the most part. I just really need to be able to fight China. Like, But I, I think before we fight China, we're, we're probably going to have to try to take on the Allies. So I'm going to get all my troops back here, and I'm going to try to move into the British Raj. You should get a channel membership function on YouTube. Yeah, I was looking into that a little bit. Um, I just don't know what I would offer. <laughs> I mean, you have to offer something for people to subscribe. I mean, maybe you'd have some people that, you know, they just want to support me or whatever. But, I mean, I do have a Patreon set up on there if someone did want to just offer donations. Um, but, yeah, at least at this point, I don't have uh, the subscription enabled on there. Yeah, you could offer uh, being included in a video or playing with someone. Yeah, I mean, I could probably do like a um, shout out to channel members at the end of the, uh, my videos if that would be enough. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, I don't really have time to be like playing with people uh, for the most part. When I have time to play like multiplayer, it's going to be with um, other people that I that e either in real life know or people that I've met on uh, through Hoi4. Like, a, you know, I would just play a game with them or. Um, do some do some MP with them. I would love to have more time in the future to be able to do more with like my Discord members or whatever. But at least at the moment, like like I typically work like fifty to sixty hours a week, and then on top of that, I also have a family. <laughs> I have two kids and a wife and uh, a long job, and then trying to edit videos, trying to make content, trying to do all this stuff. It's a little bit difficult. It's just a lot. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I could do the mission to Germany. Um, it doesn't seem like it gives us that much. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get Korea. China China ended up getting Korea. That would have been nice. Uh, at least we did get this territory, at least. There's almost 11 million people there and, and a bunch of steel, so that's good. I don't know. I, I guess I'll just go back to here. Let's, let's do the... Um, Oh, I can get more research slats. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to do that. <laughs> We're in awful shape with that.
All right, so yeah, we'll, we'll get this um, this wargle going, and then we should be able to uh, take a fleet. That, that's actually kind of epic that, that they just uh, got... Uh, yeah, because they still have almost 90k in in fleet. So I'm, I'm thinking we can use this to actually defeat the allies. The only thing is, like, I would probably need, like... Um, I'm going to need military access to Germany. Um, and Germany is not doing anything yet. We're, we're still way too early. Wait, you were at war with both Japan and the Allies? How and why? Because uh, I had declared war on the Netherlands, and that was probably kind of stupid uh, because they ended up joining the Allies. I, I thought that the Netherlands would actually join the co-prosperity sphere, or that was my hope, was that they would do that. And they didn't actually, they didn't do that. So <laughs> they didn't follow my directions, unfortunately. All right, I need more guns really badly. We're getting massive deficits. Oof. Is that just from, like, trying to garrison these? It must be. Wait, why am I still doing this? I don't need to do that. Let's get more factories. Oh, and I'm still on civilian economy, too. That's <laughs> that's not great. Wait, what is this? Shinxi, Russian Far East. Where, where's the naval invasion? Oh, Soviet Japan. They actually have a bunch of troops. Oh, dang. Hey, thank you, uh, TCG. Thank you for the uh, tip there. The donation. Yeah, my family's healthy at the moment, luckily. Um, but it, actually, um, so I commented on Alex the Rambler's video because, like, my wife actually had cancer last year, and uh, it was breast cancer. So you know, it's one of the more treatable ones, but it was still like, uh, it, it gave me anxiety like a hundred percent it was it was not it was not fun at all like yeah so I, I i totally understood his video like plus like the the stress of um especially like you know where he's at like he's kind of on top you know he's he's like in the in the lead and uh on, on in the hoi four spear and, and he probably sees like other people you know up and coming and everything um and if he's not actively creating content, that can maybe create anxiety. But I, I feel like, you know, like I'm one of his, uh, his watchers, actually. Um, when he puts out content, I almost always watch his videos. Um, and I, I think most people that, that watch him, like they're, um, they're, they're, he has a pretty good, like, supportive group. Like if he, if he misses a week here and there or whatever, um, I don't think people are just going to leave. But yeah. I, I totally get like the anxiety around that. Like a lot of times I feel like, you know, I don't put out content enough. Uh, like I'm not doing enough. Um, but you know, you have to give yourself some grace, like, uh, because you know, definitely, um, every situation is different. And if, if you don't put out content sometimes, I think it's okay. It's going to be all right. Dang, first donation you ever made online. Well, thank you. All right, how are we doing over here? Okay, so we basically we just can't push through here. <laughs> oh, maybe we can. The troops just wouldn't try. Oh, it's it's awful terrain. It's there's no supplies uh okay i don't think we're gonna get into india that way that's probably actually why i'm losing all these guns <laughs> we're just down there just sitting and attritioning at the border with with like 32 divisions Oh, we got the Wargle. And we have a truce with them until when? 
2nd of April, 1939. Why is the truce that long? Uh, I think we should have the Wargle until then, though. Nope, we won't. That is so stupid. The Wargle lasts until March 28th. Wow. Okay, let's switch to your war economy. There we go. Now we actually have some factories. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what else to do now because we can't, we can't actually do this. I'm gonna have to wait for another justification because we can't do a second justification. <laughs> but we're gonna lose our war goal uh, before our truce ends. Yeah, it's annoying. I mean, I guess uh, the only other thing I could do is I, I could declare war on... Oh, maybe I could just do this, actually. Let's go for Z-Base on Ma. They will join the Allies or... Yeah, they'll join the Allies for sure. I thought for sure they would be in the um, in the Chinese United front, but they're not. Interesting. I don't know if the non-aggression pact. Yeah, they're just gonna have a non-aggression pact with Soviets forever now. So I'm definitely gonna have to leave the Soviets. I was hoping I could stay in the Soviets and actually defeat the Chinese United front, but I, it's just not gonna work, unfortunately. Wait, 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 wait. What if if we got? I think there's, yeah, annex war goals, but we still wouldn't be able to use those, right? We would get it on Shanxi and Zbei Sama, but I don't think we can use them while we're in the faction with the Soviets. If I'm I, I could be wrong, but I don't think I can. But I, I'm gonna go ahead and try to go for that war goal then. Communist China demands our cooperation. Oh wait, is that the one where I can like get them as a puppet? Provoke Japan. Okay. Japan has war goals against Shanxi.
infiltration focus communist uprising oh uh where is that one at oh okay okay unlocks infiltrate nationalist areas interesting See, and I can't even leave the faction with the Soviets until we actually finish off the Allies now. So that was a huge mistake. Because <laughs> I'm stuck with them. Uh, we could maybe try like a naval invasion from up here. If we can get the if we can get the Japanese fleet. So that's the thing. We got to get the Japanese fleet. We're losing some of our cores over here, but I, yeah, I don't care. Doesn't matter. Italy joining the Axis. Okay, so focus on China. And then I'm going to try to do that exploit the weak neighbors and see if we can, if a, an annex war goal trumps the, uh, the non-aggression pact. I don't think it does, but it's worth a try. Okay, we got 11 more days on this justification. Molotov, Ribbentrop. Either way, at least we have like some factories now, and and we're in we're in much better shape than we were. Uh, obviously, not on guns, but everything else is looking pretty good. All right, there's one justification. Let's do another justification on Japan now. 105 days. That's not too bad. All right, let's do this. Clear war. They join the allies, of course. And I guess let's call the Soviets into this. Oh, we have awful supplies here too. And we're running short on guns. So we gotta win this quick. Oh, they just took all, <laughs> all of our other cores. Oh yeah, start building the rail, the rails. Yeah, good call. Yeah, there's literally one supply hub in here. That's crazy. You need to shill it hard. <laughs> the Discord link. All right, I'll post it. Yeah, you're always uh you're always pushing me for that. You're the the, the hype guy. Okay, I'm not paying attention to this at all, so. Yeah, I could probably pair drop them to just finish them off. Since we have no supplies. Uh, our, our paratroopers are up here, though. I was going to use them to take the Kuril Islands. We have 70 more days on that. Eh, I, we can finish them off this way. It's all right. It's just going to take a while. Alright, 
let's post let's post the link here Wait, can I just... No, I can't. I, I don't have enough special forces cap. I can't just make more. Uh, the severe pain of this, this region here. I suppose if I did take this territory, they, they would just instantly cap, right? Wait. Exploit our weaker nation. That, that instantly completed. Oh, hey, Pigeon. What's up, man? Hello, uh, Dolo Kabam. So, uh, Pigeon, uh, Alex the Rambler actually just, uh, raided me on Twitch. I hadn't even done Twitch in a while, but, uh, yeah, he blessed me. <laughs> but, I, yeah, today I was just like, oh, I should do both. Why not? Why not do both? So, it turned out to be a good decision. Am I from Turkey? No. <laughs> I'm from the U.S., Shang Shikai suggests an alliance. I don't think that one would do anything. Okay, yeah, it'll bypass because I'm in a faction. Uh, one of the following must be true does not exist. Is in a faction. Okay, I think this one would bypass as well. So I guess I, we'll, we'll try to do this infiltration then maybe. Uh, the the pain I'm gonna uh, hopefully get some guns before they get destroyed here give me guns I need guns I'm desperate maybe Germany will give us some nice Germany has guns Poland's about to get destroyed uh is germany okay yeah they're at war with the allies now that's good um wait i can get military access and docking rights or no i could i shoot i wouldn't be able to pair drop from their lands unfortunately but i could get military access at least Oh, I hate this so much. There's just nothing we can do. It's just trash land, and we have zero supplies. Um, maybe... Okay, I, oh, all right. I can do this. Reorganize the railway system. Um, let's build a supply hub, or maybe a couple. Do I play the USSR? No, not usually. Wait, why do we still have... We still have negative 25% and negative 5% from recover, recovery from the long march. I thought that should have gone away. So apparently I do have to get this one. This, uh, this focus here. Uh, no, I can't get the supply button on the field marshal either. Oh no, now there's British troops in here. How did they even get in there? Do they have military access with China? No. I don't know how they got in there. Somehow they, they teleported in. But now there's, there's extra British troops in here. That is not good at all. Now, Tibet, Tibet has no military access. Oh, they do have military access in China. No. <laughs> no. 
Why? Basically, just have to wait to get a supply hub and and attrition to death. In the meantime, Okay, we got our. Oh, th that's really good, actually. Um, okay, we can we can cap Japan now. And this time we can actually declare war on them. Oh wow, whole bunch of stuff just bypassed. Well, the good news is we'll at least have these guys soon. There we go. Nice. All right. Uh, we only have 20 points. What? <laughs> Why? Why would it give us 20 points? They have this massive fleet. So we have to. We're forced to puppet them then. That is unbelievable. Well, there it is. Can't war reparations. We can't take fleet. Uh, pain. So now, now we have a fleet, but we don't actually have it. I thought it would give us enough points to actually take the fleet. That's so frustrating. Uh, so the only other thing we could do is a, a pair drop, but we would need some territory, like... Like, if we could get Belgium for ourselves or something. Uh, but I don't think it's actually possible. I mean, we could send troops over, like, into Italy and try to push in. Uh, but I don't. I think it would just give it the, the land to Italy. I don't think it's going to end up giving us anything. And then, of course, it's going to go to Vichy after that. Hmm. I don't like this. And the problem is, if we leave this area entirely, we're just going to lose. Uh, <laughs> we're we're just going to lose our cores. It, it, we'll we'll get capped. We'll literally get capped. So we can't do that too. We can't just abandon the front. Oh, I hate this so much. I, I'm so sad that it, the, uh, the things that happened with uh, the allies happened. It, it, this would have been so much cleaner. Okay, so I've never done these things. Infiltrate. Okay, we need we need infil we need infantry equipment stored in the stockpile. Oh, but it affects at least one national estate has been successfully infiltrated. And if you have that, you can declare war on China. <gasps> that is insanely good. We can actually go to war with them then, despite the uh, non-aggression pact. That's really, really good. Okay. Well, we're back in this. We just need guns. We we got a big we got a big from some more people then. 
Uh, let's try Turkey. We could probably do Romania and Yugoslavia. And Bulgaria for good measure. Yeah, if we can just get the guns, we'll, we'll be in great shape. Wait, is Germany actually having trouble over here? They're not taking these last territories. Infiltration is definitely not violating the non-aggression pact. Definitely not. Absolutely not. It's the uh, the gray area. Hey, we got a supply hub. Oh uh, yeah. Ah, oh, supplies. And and yet we're still attritioning like right next to the supply hub. <laughs> now if we can just get the other one. Oh wait, no, it, this was the supply hub that was built, not the, not the more important one. We have guns. We have guns. Okay, if 30 days, it's going to infiltrate. Does it matter where? Uh, an uprising will have the following effects. Infrastructure and military factories will be sabotaged. Sabotage. -y. Yeah, I don't think it I don't think it matters then. Sure, that'll work. All right, launch communist uprising. So, so once we get that done, then uh, we should be able to click that button. Oh, I love it. If you're some form of authoritarian, I think you should always be able to break non-aggression packs and truces with a stab uh, WS penalty or something. Yeah, that would that would be cool. I like that idea. Yeah, I think they're having some trouble over here. Like, the, the allies have been in a war for a while. But, no, they're they're already breaking the match now. They'll be all right. Germany's got this. All right, we have two supply hubs. And yet, they're not connected. But we're working on it. We'll get there. Okay, 11 more days. Uh, I want to get some more guns, too. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Such a weird China. You have like the North and Sinki and a Japanese puppet. Yeah, a tiny Japanese puppet. I just wanted the fleet. Um, where do I even want these guys? Guess I'll get them on this front. We'll see if we can push these guys out now. We need this territory because it has a supply hub. Denmark and the Allies. They still haven't taken Amsterdam, which is kind of great. All right, five more days. Then we're launching this uprising.
I want to uh, destroy Z uh, Zubia Sama before that, hopefully. Before we actually declare war on China. Ideally. And we still have no supplies there. No supplies here. Why is it not connected? Because we're building railways everywhere. Humanly possible. Okay, so we can go army organization regain, division attack on core territory plus 20%. Oh, that's way better than that. Uh, infantry equipment production cost negative 10%. Resistance target in our states occupied by the enemy. Uh, what is the 100 regiments offensive? Does anyone know? I'm not familiar with that one. Non-core manpower damage to garrisons. Uh, plus 25% stats for 100 days against China or against uh, anyone? You can only take it one time. Okay. See, I like this one, though, because uh, production costs on infantry equipment, negative 10%. I think we already have a negative 10% as well. Yeah, because of Maoism. So that's going to put uh, infantry equipment at 80% cost, which is kind of good. Army organization regain a plus 10% is kind of nice, though. Not going to lie. But I also like infantry equipment, especially as China. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go the west, the, the left path. Yeah, 20% attack on quarters is 100% better. And, and that would make taking China itself easier, too. So, eh, I don't know. I want I want cheap infantry equipment, though. I mean, I guess maybe we can just keep begging for Lemleys. So, maybe that doesn't matter. All right, launch the communist uprising. Let's do that now. So, we have 60 days until we declare war on China. All right, I'm, I'm switching this up. Yeah, we're going to go mobile warfare. Let's do it. Do we have supplies yet? We still don't have supplies. I have no idea how those still haven't connected. All right, we're, we're almost to their capital, actually. But, of course, they've got British in there, which is just great. Ah, there's Fall of Paris. Right, I'm going to force attack it. Let's see if we can get it that way. Can't even get it with a force attack. Slow and steady gains. We still have no supplies. I I have no clue what even needs to be connected. I thought I had connected it already a long time ago. Like this, this railway right there should be connected. I, I don't understand. Maybe it's that one.
So one problem we're going to have is when we declare war, this is going to be all taken. We're going to lose all that stuff until the Soviets back us up. So we'll have to call the Soviets in. Uh, luckily, though, all this stuff is our cores, so it doesn't matter. We'll end up getting that land when, when it gets taken. Oh, we have one supply of that's done. Out oh, two, nice. It's not enough for them to cap, though. All right, so I think we just need this victory point now, and then they'll be gone. Oh, there it is. Okay, call the Soviets in. I hope that'll work. Chinese Japan wants to join. Okay. I'll accept that. But are the Soviets actually at war? They're not. We're going to start getting uh, Chinese troops up here, which isn't good. All right, we got Tanutuva in, so that that's all automatically a win. No chance of, of a loss at this point. Ninety nine percent towards capitulation. Come on. We literally need one territory. Oh. They're at war with Zibe Sanma. But they're not at war with China? Chinese war on China. <laughs> Tuvan war on China. Japanese war on China. Yeah, I think, unfortunately, the uh, the Soviets are not seeming to want to join in on this. Join in on the fun. Freaking last stands all over the place. Uh, okay, a new supply hub. China is such a nightmare zone. Don't like it. Okay, we pushed them out. Uh, can we push into China really quickly? That's the question. Before they get all of their troops on the border. How many troops do they even have?
They have what fifty nine to two hundred five divisions. Oh no. Oh no. I might be able to, if I railway down to these territories, I might be able to get some of them really quickly. Um, and actually, let's do this. I'm going to use these four troops to try to get over here and cap uh, Shanxi really fast, if possible. The rest of our troops, I'm going to put all down here. And we're going to try to push into the meat of China as fast as possible. Oh, oh no, logistics weather. No, I chose poorly. Skill six, uh, 215%. What's the guy that we have? Okay, yeah, same thing. All right, I'm gonna start training some more troops. We're gonna need a bunch more, uh, but we also need we need more guns again. Well, luckily we have some benefactors that are willing to give us that. Not them though. Not them. Not them. What? Oh, no, there's already Chinese troops down here. Uh, and even here. Oh, no. I was hoping I could get into, like, their capital quickly or something. Maybe I still can. I really just need uh, the Soviets to actually join this. Oh wait, okay. Now now they just joined. Okay. That was the this war, right? Shanxi. Wait, maybe that's not this war. Soviet war on China. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're in. Uh, if they can get troops up here, they'll they'll be able to take all that stuff for us, and it's gonna release pressure down here as well. Oh no, but they just declare war on uh, Finland. That's That was not a good plan. Why? Will you use tanks if you haven't gotten them yet? No, probably not. I mean, I, I don't have the industry for it. 
unfortunately. I wouldn't mind using them, but yeah, it's just not really feasible. At least right now, it's not. All right, we got some. We got some Soviets up here. Oh, they just lost Vladivostok. Pretty good so far. Uh, so Shang Shikai had uh, genocidal tendencies towards the Turkey people. I haven't heard about that. Wow, there's a lot of allied troops here. Look at all these British troops. It's so annoying. Why you gotta be like that? We've lost most of our uh, territories here in the east. How is our compliance? Okay, our compliance is looking pretty good in these states. Yeah, land wars in Asia and China specifically, just a nightmare. It's like <laughs> you constantly have to uh, get new supply hubs. You don't have supply hubs. The ones that you do have are super far away. It's just, it's miserable. Naval invade them from Japan. Maybe I, I might be able to do that. I've got 20 more, 21 more troops in the queue. So that would allow us to do a naval invasion if if we can get naval supremacy. So that, that's the other issue. Uh, we, we would need someone to do naval supremacy. Okay, yeah, we actually have it right here in the East China Sea. So I could probably uh, land here for, from this province. I could maybe do some uh, pair drops as well. That's another thing that could be done. Wait, I don't think I have the tech for naval invasions, though. Nah, nah, I don't. So we're going to have to use these transport planes, basically, which we could land in Korea. And then push up from Korea. Yeah, because I don't, I don't like this situation. It's just never-ending, same thing. All right, let's uh, let's bring these troops up. I'm gonna get our paratroopers up there. And then I suppose we could dump these out soon.
So they also have a real thin line up in this region. We could probably uh, push through down to here. Twenty widths. I'm gonna move that up. Let's get twenty-four width on these bad boys. I would really like to just pair drop the United Kingdom, but there's no way to do that, at least right now. Or naval invade. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh. Look at the naval supremacy here. 87% and 63%. So we could actually naval invade England. And I do have military access. I could, I could do a naval invasion from here. But we're going to need the tech for that. 125 days. Okay, I'm going to do it right now. Hello, El Kuka. Uh, in Kaiserreich, there is a path where you can unite a Soviet Union as Bolshevist Latvia. And fighting in Eastern Europe as a tiny nation is slightly less annoying than doing anything in China. Yeah, I mean, at least there you at least have uh, <laughs> you at least have some supplies. I just hate this this nonsense of, of literally zero supplies. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to say screw China right now, and uh, we'll just hold the line. These troops that we're dumping out, we're going to use those to uh, to, to invade uh, Britain as soon as we can. So we're going to go from this port up here. So let, let's check our supremacy. 62 and 86. Yeah, as long as that holds for as long as we uh, we need 100 more days and we'll have that tech. So as long as that lasts, then we'll be golden. Soviets are trying to push and completely failing. We're actually running low on uh, manpower too. Which is just great. All right, let's go to this port. I'm gonna start training those as well. Zengdong. All right, let's get some more uh, field commanders too. How is Britain uh, strong enough to both garrison China and garrison Africa and uh, even put troops in like Norway and uh, Finland? I don't get it. AI hacks. Actually, it looks like uh, Soviets are just being stupid here. Like they could easily capitulate them. All right, let's let's do this then. Let's help our Soviet friends out. Since they don't know how to capitulate Finland. They they literally just need to walk to uh, Helsinki, and and it's over. Jover.
70 more days. Oh, great. There's Canadian or British Raj units up here. I should capitulate them. Yay. Now we mop up. A lot, tons of tiny little pockets. All right, 44 more days. We'll, we'll get our troops back over where we want them then. Uh, so we'll get them over here, and then we'll be able to attack. I might need to actually divert more units from the line. We we may we may get pushed back a bit, but I'd rather have enough troops to capitulate the allies than anything else. That's gonna be the most important thing. Which countries do you need to capitulate to defeat the allies? Just Britain. Britain's the last one. So they're, they're the last major in the allies. Soviets are actually getting pushed back by the Chinese. It's sad. Norway isn't the allies, right? Are you at war with them? Yes. They just capitulated. So they are now gone. They're getting mopped up here. And we'll get our other, these 24 troops back into place, ready for the naval invasion.
Yeah, make it quick before uh, Raj Australia become majors. They shouldn't. Um, the only thing that could happen is the USA would join the war. Uh, but we have quite a while before that, so we should be okay on that. Ooh, we're down to only 17 million core population. Ouch. Okay, our troops are in place. 11 more days. Oh, we have special stuff here. Industrial research speed. Industrial concern. Okay. Uh, Captain of Industry Armaments. Well, let's get the War Industrialist. Okay, three more days and then we can set up our naval invasions. The U.S. will only join if Japan attacks them and then the Allies, right? I don't think they're in the pit. Of oh, yeah, they're they're gone. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Japan's gone. Yeah, so the U.S. won't even be able to join in. You're 100% correct. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. All right, there we go. Uh, Ten troops can be sent over. And we want to hit up in these regions so that we use these two um, naval or uh, sea tiles. Actually, here, let's check this. 100% and, oh, 41%. No. We, we might still be able to do it. It's just uh, we'll have it set up, and if, if we regain supremacy, we, we will launch, and then we'll be able to destroy them. But it might take a little bit here. Oh, we got supremacy. Oh, changed back. It, it had it for a second. Okay, these other troops need to get over here too. But we'll have 34 divisions to be able to capitulate them. I think that should be enough, but we'll see. Hey, they're going. They're launching. Look at that. <laughs> I guess we could take the army regrouping expert that might help us beat them faster. So let's try it. Man, I can't, can't believe this actually worked. Our other troops are making it over. Those are veteran troops too, so that's good. We have some extra artillery. Um, let's pop this in there. I can't imagine they would have much here, but okay, they, they do have some of it defended at least. Greece is being attacked. Uh, Newcastle is defended, unfortunately. Two troops, two divisions defending there. Uh, so we're not getting a port just straight up, unfortunately. Um, we'll see if we can we can push these ports though.
Crap, I just used all of my command power. That might have been a big mistake. Uh, we just need a territory here. We just need one port. Okay, hull is being taken. Uh, come on, get the port. I probably should have uh, done a more concentrated attack. Not looking good. <laughs> it, it, we just need a port and then we're fine. So if this one falls, we're good. If this one down here falls, we're good. I don't think they have a very many troops up here too, so that's good. We have a ton of convoys, so we can instantly get all of our troops over. Nice, we got it. This is, this is looking real good now. Troops are almost in place.
Mm, we might lose this unit. Let's last stand that one. We almost destroyed that unit in hull. Nope. We just uh, freed it up right as it was being destroyed. British resistance is failing. <laughs> they can't stop our crack uh, communist China troops. Oh geez, deficits. Yeah, where's the British steel at? <laughs> oh, nice. Beautiful. Okay, Germany has a massive war score, uh, but we should be able to get some good stuff here. Um, What's our plan though? What do we even need from this? I, they don't hold any of our cores, right? Nothing like that. Um, we don't need a fleet. We need industry. So if we would, if we just are concerned about industry, I guess we could go for like France and London and, and the other British territories. Um, I don't know what else we would need. Yeah, we could go for, like, yeah, the British Malaya or something. Uh, just for the resources. I mean, if we just want rubber, it's easy. That, that's Ceylon. That's all you need. Um, of course, this is the best one. Uh... Sumatra also amazing for that, but man, that that is pricey. Eight seventy five for Singapore. I think I'd rather just have industry, just straight industry, um, and then of course steel is going to be good too. Alsace Lorraine is going to be good. Hong Kong and the French port city in China. Oh, true. True, true, true. That is a core of ours. Those are dirt cheap. 
Um, and then we'd have to fight Portugal eventually too to get that other one. Oh, is eBay Sama is a part of this as well. Oh, this is also dirt cheap. Ooh, 153 steel up here. Nice. 10 military factories. Yeah, that's going to be useful. Germany wants Ireland. <laughs> I probably could create a, a British puppet as well, but I mostly I'm just concerned about the the industry. We have such insane industry up here. I think that's about all we're going to get. Let me try and puppet these guys here in Wales. Royal Navy for the memes. Well, I mean, I'm just going to puppet uh, Britain and, and get their Navy in that way. Oh, no one's done anything with India, actually. We can get infinite tungsten. Uh, no one's done anything with Ceylon either. So I guess let's take that. We're running very short on uh, points, though, at this point. Uh, someone's doing something with Canada, it looks like. Puppet Canada, Germany is. So that, this peace deal is going to benefit Germany more than anyone else, it looks like. Germany's going to be insanely strong. Royal Navy for the memes. For the memes. Oh, I have enough points to try to contest this. All right, let's go for it. No, instantly not enough points. <laughs> uh, Mandalay. Mm, we still don't have enough points. Well, Mandalay is going to have to suffer. I uh, don't think we're going to get Alsace Lorraine either. All right, we have some extra points still. I mean, I guess we can take some fleets or something. doesn't really matter too much let's take all these minor nations fleets boom what's Turkestan without a carrier or three all right yeah so so we did get a uh, Socialist Republic of Great Britain and Wales <laughs> and they still have most of their fleet so 90 ships okay so now we, we send our army back and we invade China China
This should be much easier now that there's like no British. Should be. I don't know. I don't know if it w actually will be. I don't even know where that would have put our fleet. All the stuff that we got. Where are these? Uh, Tohoku? Where is that? Oh, this is it. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, nothing too great here. Bunch of destroyers, subs. Can you naval invade from Japan? Yeah, I definitely can. I, I'm just getting these troops over for now, and then uh, we'll, we'll we'll do our best to uh, naval invade. I think and try to get into the meat of China. Oh, we got a bunch more stuff too now. So let's uh, let's keep recruiting. Oh, and we're out of manpower. Oh no. Yeah, because we only have 17 million. We really just need to take, like, one province here, and, and we'll be good. Like this one, 57 million. <laughs> Zero in power China. Yeah, we just need our cores back. Peaceful reunification of Vichy France. <laughs> they just got Alsace Lorraine, nothing else. Wait, what? What just happened? Yeah, we have a uh, complete naval supremacy in the east now. I'm going to use my paratroopers for a naval invasion. Taiwan just for manpower. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We'll we'll get manpower soon though. It's all right. It, it, all we literally all we had to do is get like one province. There's 18 million right there. Boom. 22 million. Boom. Any of that would be totally fine. We just need our troops, uh, like we're, we're literally having to go all the way around the globe to get back into position to fight China. That's the problem right now. And China's actually pushing. Hey, pigeon's back. Uh, 
This is becoming painful. And still is, was Mexico in that MP Albatross was playing. Oh, was there a, there was an MP game going on? Was it, a, what server was doing it? Who is just fine against us? Uh, oh, Germany. Oh, they're doing Barbarossa. Uh, I don't have to join that though. I don't think. Yeah, this is the last war that we're fighting together. I'll just not join that. And then once uh, China is dead, we're going to um, leave the, the, the common turn. Because uh, there won't be any reason to stay in the common turn after that. Great Britain's sending us some troops. Nice. We still have a ton of troops, like just a million miles away. Uh, okay, it looks like most of them are here. All right, I'm going to cancel this, and we're just going to put them in a port up here. And then we can actually launch this naval invasion. There we go. I don't know how well this is going to go because it's paratroopers. <laughs> But it's all right. We'll, we'll give it a whirl. You'll probably need to help in Barbarossa. No, we're actually going to backstab them. Ooh. What are the, why are there Romanian divisions here? Did they send volunteers? Oh, they sent volunteers. That's not good. Yeah, we're kind of screwed here. Uh, well... We're going to have to do an actual invasion. A shore bombardment. It, it will help some, but it, it's not going to help that much. Where's our fleet? Because we only have two heavy cruisers. That's the best that, that's the best we, that we got. Yeah, I, that was dumb of me, honestly. I should have done a better naval invasion. Like, I should have done a much bigger one. But it's it's fine. And get all the rest of our troops down here now. I just didn't expect them to actually have this uh, well garrisoned, and they, and they actually do. I really didn't think they would. Ah, oh, there it is, Barbarossa. Those troops are very dead. Very, very dead. Taiwan and Hainan. Hainan to make the encirclement. I'm just impressed by how many troops they were able to field. It's kind of nuts.
All right, try number two. Maybe here instead. I just want a port. Once we get a port, we can push in. It, it will be fine. It's just, it's just getting the port itself that's the problem. Oh, stability, sweet, sweet stability. Let's do this. I hope it's enough troops this time. Ah, oh, yeah, easy. Easy win. There it is. And now we push. Push. We need manpower. How's Barbarossa? They don't have many troops over here because they got so many troops on the Chinese border. Oh, Soviet Norway, interesting. And Finnish Democratic Republic, nice. fall of Kiev already oh no yeah they might fall really fast it, so we need to cap China quickly oh look at that manpower all that juicy manpower It's a historically accurate run. I had a nuclear arsenal in Yemen and someone stole it. Give me back my arsenal. Now. It's mine now. Glorious manpower. Now the nice thing about all this east coast is there's actually like ports and uh, you get supplies. <laughs> Anywhere else it's like nope, uh, supplies are non-existent. They don't they're not real. Okay, the Soviets want us to join, of course. I'm not going to do it. They're not going to trick me. All 
Oh, there's actually military factories and sips here too. How did we get mutiny? Oh, the war support dipped under just barely 50%. Wow, that's stupid. You're going down, China. All right, how are we looking on guns? Okay, we're, we're looking good. They're quickly bringing troops down, but they still have a ton up here, so we can't actually push. Oh man, look at all that manpower. As long as the Soviets can hold for a while, we'll be all right. I might actually have to help them uh, push the Germans back, though. Because they're not doing well. How are the Soviets able to afford sending me guns? Make that one make sense. Losing so many uh, just from trade. So many sieves. So they've lost a million casualties now, and it, it's not really hurting them that much. Wow, they still have 76 factories, too. Impressive. We gotta get more troops down here. I can't actually push anymore. Because our, our momentum is just, uh, it, we're, we're losing all the momentum. Because we don't have enough troops. a division. Does Turkestan have similar borders to Turan? Um, I don't... I mean, I think it shares some, but it's not like... It's not an exact... I might just pull all the rest of these troops out of here, because they're going to be way more useful in the east.
floating harbor. I don't need that. Soviets are not in a good place. Moscow's gonna be falling soon. Freaking China, man. They get they get stronger than you would think. I wouldn't think they'd be able to hold this much territory. Everything going well? It's going okay. I mean, I, I'm just having trouble capitulating these, uh, the Chinese. They are an absolute bear to capitulate. I didn't expect this. I probably, uh, when I do a more refined strategy, I might actually, I might try that other path. Uh, I might try to do the social democracy because th this is taking an absolute age. And if we could just take them over, it's gonna be it's gonna be way better than trying to actually do this. Zero manpower is China. What? We got so much manpower. Yeah, see, they're, they're only 21% towards capitulation right now. Uh, just brutal. Fall of Leningrad, too. Oh, no. Is it just supply holding you back, or do they actually have decent troops? Uh, their troops aren't, aren't horrible, but they're not great either. Um, but our biggest issue right now is just, um, actually, wait, Ooh, can we, we can do that one, uh, that one decision, right? Launch the 100 regiments offensive for 180 days. Ooh, that might be worth it right now. Actually, let's do it. We get 25% more attack. And if we all out attack, uh, we should be able to push them out of here. I just need more troops. Oh, we got plenty of artillery too. Oh, and that just put us in a deficit. Oops. Use my better field marshal. Lab on China is in order. That's not a bad idea. It would take a while though. Do you have a plan for all those convoys? Uh, not really. I mean, I could probably annex someone. Yeah, Sly, I'm thinking uh, the Soj Dem Kami for Xinjiang. Yeah, it's probably going to actually turn out to be easier in the long run. I thought this would be much easier, but uh, China spams so many divisions out so quickly that it's it's kind of insane. I, I didn't I didn't expect that, but um, 
it's like uh Sajazwak was saying like they actually do have a pretty decent industry like you don't think about it but um china's industry is not actually that bad you don't you don't think china when you think of industry is the thing but they have more than you would think like right now they have like 70 74 So they've, they've basically just gotten strong. And now they're difficult to capitulate because they could spam so many infantry. And they have unlimited manpower, essentially. Manpower is coming in. I think uh, th this is looking good now. 33% towards capitulation. Uh, but they're, they're starting to struggle to man the entire front. What's the next step after China? Uh, so we'd have to turn our, we'd have to turn against the Soviets. Uh, the problem is the Soviets are actually going to cap. From the looks of it, they're not looking healthy at all. So, <laughs> the Soviets might end up just capping, and then uh, we're kind of screwed. Well, I mean, I guess we're not screwed. We we could attack uh, Germany then. But, but Germany is going to be an absolute unit at this point in the game. So how well we could actually do against them, I don't know. Thirty percent on combat casualties. Ouch. Yeah, I mean, I, I easily can attack the uh, Soviets alongside Germany, but the problem is I'm not going to get any land out of it because we, we won't have the war participation. Like, Germany's going to have all of it. I've almost got to Beijing.
There's another thing you can do and steal the entire Soviet Union. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm listening. <laughs> Socialist market economy. Okay, here we go. Re recover, remove, recover from the long march. Okay, that's what we want. Oh, we're now the People's Republic of China again. Oh wait, can we cap? I think we can cap Shanxi if we take this. No, they didn't actually cap. Uh, oh, they, that's that's just a desert. Okay, well. It was a mirage. <laughs> oh, geez, look at this. Just brutal. The amount of resources that we need. Soviet Norway capitulated. Okay. Soviet bros. 78% towards capitulation. I'm going to capitulate all these tiny nations. Actually, though, come to think of it, I don't even need to capitulate them. I just need to capitulate, capitulate China, and then it's over. Oh, what happened here? Uh, enemy United Kingdom? They still exist? Oh, one of our units made it all the way down here. Okay, if we take Chongqing, do they cap? No. We'll still we'll still need more. Okay, we did get Beijing. there okay China is 79% how how are they not closer to capitulation is going to click close close to you ca capping? No, not even close. Okay, Soviets are pushing in from the west. They they want this to be over. <laughs> I don't blame them. Shanxi, eighty nine per cent. Jeez. We had to take like every single last territory for them to cap, apparently. Yeah, they're they're still at eighty seven per cent. They barely have any land left. I mean, I guess some of this is probably their cores, actually. Uh, but they, they're they only the owner on certain things. Uh, okay, they're the owner of G-Hall. That doesn't have any victory points. 
Uh, okay, they're the owner in Kirin. That has one victory point. Oh wait, okay, two. Sorry. Mm, yeah, apparently we we have to we have to go to the last uh, every single last territory, which is just gonna be fun. Who doesn't love that? They're fighting to the last man. Historical, <laughs> unfortunately. Shing Kai Shrek. Check yourself before you Shrek yourself. We're running out of generals again. Oh no, don't get killed. Yeah, it's looking like I will have to take parts of Manchuria, unfortunately. I just want this to be over. Oh, there goes shang -Chi. Nice. One down. Several more to go. China's at 90%. Soviets still at 79%. They're not doing too awful, surprisingly. Venezuela joined the Axis. The natural ally. Something just capitulated. I didn't see what it actually said. I clicked too quickly. This is a nice encirclement up here. Yeah, Germany always does struggle with going beyond the Urals for sure. There's Macau. I'm gonna just find them. I want all the cores. 
yeah this is this is kind of silly how how uh china's just not gonna give up until literally the last second we're looking good on factories now real good Yeah, I was thinking about that. Portugal might actually join um, whatever exists left of the allies for sure. But it's fine. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's not like they're strong. China, 95%. Come on, baby. Oh, Taiwan, yeah. <laughs> uh, how, oh, it's worth five victory points. That's like single-handedly holding them up. Uh, where's my paratrooper at? I have one paratrooper division somewhere. There it is. The copy of paratroopers. <laughs> Right, do we have an airport no uh, why would we have an airport So 96%. Okay, there's the airport. Airport on Okinawa. Yeah, it's it's fine. I already built the, the airport. <laughs> oh, suddenly a massive amount of steel. I like it. Uh, Soviets just lost their steel supplies. How are they looking now? 80%? Okay, they're still not doing too bad. One pair drop. Yes. <laughs> Finally. Uh, that was brutal. Can I just take all states? No, because, of course, uh, Soviets are more than likely going to mess with us. Okay, maybe they didn't spend anything. I thought they'd spend a bunch of their points just trying to screw with us. I think they might be giving us the land because we have the cores. Um, we don't need to do anything else. Liberate, puppet, nah, none of that. Yes, beautiful. Uh, I guess we could have puppeted like or satellited Korea, but it's fine. Yes, finally. That took way too long. That, that is that is not enjoyable <laughs> all right so now uh, we basically just need to uh, try to fight uh, we just need to fight uh, Soviets can we do that 
Wait, are we not get we're not giving them tribute anymore? Oh, so I can't just instantly declare on them, unfortunately. Did you forget to wait on Portugal before wrapping things up? No, I mean, I, I knew I still had it going, but it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think I, I just need to leave the faction and, and fight the Soviets. Even though it's going to really screw the Soviets over. And I probably won't get that much war score. 45 days to do that. Uh, we have a non-aggression until, or I don't think we'll be able to fight them immediately, but it should be okay. Connect the hubs. 20 million manpower. Uh, all right, yeah, let's connect these hubs. I think they're all connected. Somewhat. Looks like they're, they're not so much connected in the east. Oh, that's frustrating. It's going to be one of those things where it's like you got to put an army here. you got to put an army uh, right here. Yeah, there's there's literally one spot right there. Um, so yes, we'll just do this. Put 24 there. Uh, 75 divisions are going to be along Mongolia and the north. Nope, we can't even do that because it still doesn't cover these spots. Wonderful. Just what we needed. All right, here. New field marshal. Defensive doctrine. Uh, these ones will go along Mo Mongolia. We're going to attack up into Tanu Tuva and all of that. I don't want that. Uh, the rest of these troops will be along this border and we'll push into the north from, from there. Uh, what was I doing with these? Oh yeah, they'll, they'll be in Mongolia. Okay. They actually have troops down there. Soviets want us back in their faction. No thanks. I'll pass. Yeah, see the problem is there, there's just no supply hubs up here. It's the the ever the never ending problem. The like why would you build supply hubs? It takes forever. Yeah, they're not even to the Urals back. Somehow, uh, the Soviets took back Stalingrad as well. How? <laughs> I don't know how they were able to do that. Oh, I can create factions. 
Ooh, a Turk Turkish faction? I can create a Turkish faction. Turks unite. Eighteen point six six million. Oh yeah. Give me all the resources. I guess I don't need the uh, <laughs> the ideological fanaticism anymore, or ideological loyalty. Mm. Planning speed, I guess that would be good. Uh, supply combat on core territory, that would also be good. Yeah, let's do this one, quick improvisation. We don't really need that 500 uh, weekly manpower anymore. Not so much. Oh, we can declare war. Portugal joins the common turn. Just as it was meant to be. Yeah, we'll see how many points I can get. I mean, uh, this is going to be rough. Because I, I'm thinking they're going to cap really fast here. It's all right. Britain's here. They got our backs. They're not pushing at all. Oh, yeah, I didn't give them orders. Okay. Well, that would make sense. Maybe try to block Germany by taking the Urals. Uh, I don't think that works as well anymore. Wow, they never actually took back who... I don't know what states we actually need here. Uh, Kazakh, Uzbek, Pamirs, Talinabad, Ashgabad, and Tashaus. Okay. This is tricky because I don't really want the Soviets to cap too fast before I can get some more score and hopefully I can get my cores too. Ideally I'd be able to get my cores.
All right, we still need a whole bunch of stuff, so I, I don't think we're going to get it. Uh-oh. Oh, there goes the Soviets. Oh, man, only 300 points. I don't know if it's going to be enough. All right, let's see here. Uh, Turkestan... Okay, so we need these states in blue. And then these ones are just bonuses. That's a lot of states. But they should be cheap too, so... Um, get out of here. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so we needed a bunch of these states. All the states along our border. Tenutuva, of course. Uh, nothing in Mongolia. Okay. And then uh, that state up there. I think it was that one. Okay, both of these. Okay, Germany made it a decent way, but they're they're not in this area yet, so <laughs> I think we're okay. We gotta get these two up here in the state along that lake. All around the lake, okay. Oh, we don't actually need that one. That's funny. So this one and this one, basically. But we're too poor for it. No, we're being contested. No. Italy, no. <laughs> oh, wait, we need this one, too. Crap. But this is the one that we didn't need, I think. Yeah. If I missed one stay, I'm going to be so upset. So I'm trying to like double check, double and triple check. Do we need this one? Altai Cry? I'm just gonna take some more stuff just to just to try to be safe here. Uh, and we ha we actually have enough points; we can take more. Okay, I think we got everything we needed, which is all I care about. Should 
Chelyabinsk. I don't think we need that one. Oh yeah, 15 points left. Nothing else we can really buy. Just want to click the button. Yes, unite the Turks. Woo! Uh, will you try beating the nationalists in the marketplace of ideas as social them, then attack the Russians in another run? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm going to uh, attempt that and see how well it can work. Um, because uh, otherwise, yeah, it's taken until 1942 to do this. So, yeah, it's a little too long for me at least. But we got it done. Let's let, let's let it run and see our final tally of factories and manpower. With the entire Central Asian region firmly under sinking and control, something, something. Uh, they've been united under Sheng Shikai's leadership. The new Turkic administration has declared the People's Republic of China shall now be known as the Republic of Turkic Peoples and is the rightful home of all Turkic peoples. Even beyond the borders of this new nation, many Turkic peoples are beginning to regard the Republic of Turkic Peoples as their true home, and Sheng Shikai may take this opportunity to expand their burgeoning nation. So I, I don't know how much that actually uh, added to our manpower or uh, to overall uh, core population, but still decent. 258 factories, 19.09 free manpower, total manpower of 29 million with a core eligible population of 559.25 million. So there we go. Oh boy. That was, uh, that was rough. I, <laughs> Definitely ran into a lot more hitches than I expected. And, and man, fighting China is just brutal. Like, uh, if you can, if you can uh, do it the other way, I think it's going to be way better. <laughs> but I definitely need to get off now. Um, I actually was planning on getting off a bit earlier. So uh, I will see all of you guys later. And hope you guys enjoy this. Bye-bye.